Alright, and welcome to Day 2, Reflections of Chapter 6, and our, with me, Mr. Hain, and our essential question is, how can I reflect shapes in the coordinate plane? <clears throat> Alright, so, um, really, we're just looking at another type of transformation, and that type of transformation that we're looking at is a reflection, and you know this, because every, every day, probably, well, maybe not every day if you're not vain, you look in the mirror, and when you look in the mirror, you're looking at a reflection. So let's take a, di a deeper dive into the world of reflections in the coordinate plane to answer our essential question. All right, so um, we're going to reflect this figure, M-D-A-W, over the x-axis. And of course, you'll remember this is the x-axis. It's blinking in green right now, and it's horizontal. And as I reflect that figure, it'll look... Um, we first take a look at the original points, and the original points are listed here on the screen for M, W, A, and D. And uh, as we see how it's reflected over that green line, we see that it's a mirror image um, and it's created below it. Uh, and you see that mirror image there for uh, M prime, W prime, A prime, and D prime. So as we look at this list of points, um, we really want to just see what changes. Negative 1 comma 5 and M prime is negative 1 comma negative 5. Hmm. So the numbers themselves, the, the absolute values didn't change. It's a level 1 and a 5 on both. But the prime, I have a negative 5. It looks like one of these changed signs. And if I look at the W, it's the same coordinate that changed signs. If I look at the A to the A, A prime, it is the same coordinate that changed signs again. And D to D prime, it's the same coordinate. In fact, we see that the Y coordinate changed signs. So if the y coordinate changed signs, then that means to reflect a point over the x axis, all we have to do is change the sign of the y coordinate. Okay, cool. We got to keep this in mind. Got to make sure that this is uh, in your notes. Uh, and when you have this down, go ahead and unpause your video uh, for those of you playing at home. And then we'll take a look at the next slide. Duh. So um, if we take a look, as I was clicking, here we go. So I'm not going to actually add answers for these. Really, all I'm going to do is have you pause the video when you are done um, reflecting these over the x-axis. And remember, when you reflect over the x-axis, we're just changing the sign of the y-coordinate. So just change the sign of the y-coordinate. So, when you're done with numbers 1 through 10, you will indeed be a super pupil, and you will be ready to unpause. And again, I'm not going to show answers. Um, you can check with your, with your uh, neighbor if you have someone next to you. Um, or just remember what reflecting over the x-axis changes. All right. Without further ado, go ahead and pause the video. When you're done, I'll be ready to go. And we're back. All right. So, um, let's take a look at example B. This um, shape, HQPL, uh, has been already trans reflected, transformed and reflected over the y-axis, which you see blinking now. And um, really what we're looking at is, again, what changed when we reflected those points. So HQPL, from H to H prime, um, so from H to H prime, we saw that um, it became, from negative 2 to 3, it became 2, 3. From q to q prime, from negative two to one, negative two one, it became it became it became two one. Uh, for point p, it became from negative three negative two, it became three negative two. And as you see uh, down this list of all the primes, you'll notice what's changing. In fact, it is the x coordinate that changed. Well, you you might say, hey, look, l, it's not changing, but that's because zero has no sign, so it can't. So really, what that means is that when you reflect over the y-axis, you are changing the sign of the x-coordinate. So um, just like we did with the last uh, example, there were going to be some practice problems for reflecting over the y-axis. And all you'll need to remember is this last point here. To reflect a point over the y-axis, change the sign of the x-coordinate. So when you have all of this down in your notes and you are ready to move on, uh, go ahead and move on to the next part of the video. 
and then pause it so that you can complete those. And again, I'm not going to have answers, um, but go ahead and check with someone across or next to you. And remember what it means to reflect over the y-axis, and that's just changing the sign of the x-coordinate. So go ahead and pause, be respectful of each other in your time, and uh, reflect these points over the y-axis. Unpause when you're ready to move on. And we're back. So as we move on, we're just looking here at example C, how did it reflect? And the blue shape and, and the one with the primes really tells us that the top shape is what is the reflected shape. So the black shape is the original. So we want to know, um, and we see that it reflected over the x-axis, which is now blinking in green. And we, we, I want you to pause and write the original points and the reflected points. So um, the original points here in the left column are from the black shape on your screen. Uh, and the, uh, the primes are from the blue shape on your screen. And go ahead and write those coordinates. And again, I'm not going to put answers in. Um, this is very straightforward and a super review. But I do think the practice is important to see exactly how and what points change when you're reflecting them over the x-axis. And remember to write what type of reflection it is in your notes and what coordinate changed after you've written the coordinates. Go ahead and pause the video, and when you're done, you're ready to move on to example D. And we're back. So moving on to example D, um, we want to know how we can describe the reflection below. So you might have already been screaming at your screen that um, it is reflected over the y-axis, which is now blinking in green. And when it reflects over the y-axis, I really want you to do the same thing that we did with example C. Write down the original points and the reflected points and the reflection that it was, the axis that was reflected over and what coordinate changed. Uh, again, I'm not going to have answers. I just want you guys to check with someone next to you or um, just to look uh, and review what it means to find each of those coordinate points. And again, the black shape is the original and the blue shape is the reflected figure. If you've paused the video and you're ready to move on, you'll notice that we're really done. I'm ready for to have you write your summary. Um, if you are in my class, there will be some practice that you will have uh, to continue uh, your work in class. Make sure to rewatch this video and, uh, and recall what it takes to reflect a shape over one of the axes in the coordinate plane. Until next time, guys, keep doing the math.